Greetings, Flameborn. News in the world have been shrouded today as they put out their second large patch. Let's go. First, they note that the fix for this 60 hertz display rate issue that's been happening a lot is not in this patch. It's going to need a lot more testing, and they're looking at making an opt-in branch for people to give them some more feedback on that. I'm going to hit the highlights here because some of this is just little tiny details in technical issues and fixes and crashes that they've been working on, which is all good overall, 100%. In general, for stability and performance, they fixed several rare crashes. They're adding more security to the saving process when there is a crash, and they're improving performance in large player bases and larger crop fields. Then we get into things that they've changed about the game world. They redistributed roaming enemies in several areas for improved balancing. I did notice I found some areas where there was nothing there. Fixed cases of enemies with the incorrect level for the region that they're in. Fixed an issue where a flame altar placed near a shroud root removed the shroud in the entire world. Apparently they say this isn't how you're meant to save Embervale. <laughs> the game now prevents save points being activated when they are in deadly shroud. That seems like a good idea. Fixed an issue where wax and honey were spawning in the player base without having to harvest it. Polished some points of interest. Tweak sounds with vultures. They were overwhelming. And then some little twinks with sounds and music here and there throughout the game as well as timings of traps and spires when you're in a multiplayer session. Moving on to gameplay, they fixed cases where the saving of crops when quitting and restarting the game world did not work properly. I saw this myself. I like harvested a bunch of crops, went out, came back, and the crops were back, but they were still in my inventory, which was kind of, you know, a bonus, but also kind of like now I have to do it again. Increase the stamina cost for the jump attack. What do you guys think? Was that OP before? Fix an issue where players climbing on walls and ladders could interfere with each other. They really seem to be not trying to have ways that you can grief other players. The water aura no longer heals when the player is dead. I mean, it makes sense, but I could see somebody leaving a dead player there and just running over to heal every time that they get damaged. Reduce the amount of twigs needed to craft arrows. This is going to be a popular one. Increase the yield of twigs from grown bushes. So again, making that easier. Increase yield of feathers from their sources. That's going to be popular too. These are based on feedback from the community for sure. Lowered the amount of flax needed to craft high-end armor sets. They say it was maybe a bit too much padding. Yeah, it was a chore to get all that flax done. This is probably my favorite one right here. Lowered the amount of the resources needed to craft decorative books. Not all books are the Wheel of Time. Thank goodness. That was outrageous, the amount of work you had to do to sit books down in your house. I'm super psyched about that one. Castle wall blocks now have the same max stack of 5,000 like other building blocks. They may be royal, but they don't need to take up that much space. Fix cases where open doors would block arrows or other projectiles. And fix some rare cases, fix some rare cases where looted weapons had an incorrect item level. For building and terraforming, Construction Hammer no longer allows cutting holes into unbreakable materials like bedrock. That makes sense. There's no news in this update on the progress that they're making on having the choice of quests being player-based versus server-based, but they are still working on it. I don't think they'll give us a specific time roadmap for how long it will take to implement that, and honestly, I'm fine with that because invariably, if a dev team gives out a specific date, something happens, it gets pushed, and then you have all the people that are up in arms and freaking out because they didn't hit a specific date. I'm just excited that it's coming, especially since I have a community and shrouded server with the Happy Gamer server. We all coordinate with each other, and you can go back and do the quests again if it's been done on the server, but it will be nice for people that want it to have the option to say, I'm going to stick to the quest being on my own character. I'm still really enjoying Enshrouded, and I'm hoping to get more content out on it very soon. If this was useful information, leave a like and consider subscribing for more Enshrouded. Happy gaming!